Previously, I went on an expedition and found 5 more trophies and some armadillos, went to the warp forest and collected 13 end pearls, and set up a temporary base to continue exploring from this episode. Hello and welcome to episode 7 of my Every Biomes Challenge. We are not starting at home today, as right at the end of last episode we travelled to the deserted village that we found, in hopes of finding even more biomes nearby. So today we are going to start off with quite a major expedition, my inventory is pretty much empty, so I'm hoping we can go pretty far and find several new biomes. After we've done that, we are going to transport everything home and then hopefully try and make some bookshelves so we can finally enchant some of my armour. Maybe once we've made some bookshelves, we're going to expand my trophy room and depending how the rest of the episode goes, maybe setting off on a new adventure in a different direction. So without further ado, I think we should continue walking and finding some new biomes. Let's go this way. I should probably pick up as much sugar cane as I can find. Oh, oh, this is a desert. We're in a desert. All we need from here is a dead bush. Can I pick them up with a pair of shears? We better hope so. Desert? Oh! <gasps> Yes, first trophy of today acquired. Let's climb this mountain and see if we can get a vantage point. Oh, armadillo in the forest. I do not see anything that catches the eye apart from armadillos. We'll continue this way. Ooh, ruined portal. This is so cool, by the way. Honestly, I probably shouldn't loot this, but I might as well. Why is this biome so big? Ooh, ooh, that's dripstone. Does this count as a dripstone cave biome though? <gasps> dripstone caves, yes. Can I pick up this block? <gasps> Got it, another trophy. Goodbye armadillo. <gasps> sorry, sorry. I ran past you too fast. Hello? I'm just going to leave you over there. <laughs> I don't have to deal with you. That's another very big mountain. Why is this biome genuinely so large? I mean, it's great for the armadillo population, but I'm looking for some new biomes here. Okay, do we go left or do we go right? I'm feeling left. Looks like we're going back out into open water, which is a little concerning. I think we're like 4,000 blocks away from home. I'm sure we'll be able to manage finding our way back though. Is that a shipwreck? I hope it's not. Go away. Oh, oh no, that's a trident. No, 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 no. We are not risking that. We are not risking that. I just saw a trident fly past me. Land? Don't be more desert and bad lands, please. I can't handle that. It looks like more savanna. Please at least be a savanna plateau or something. Nope, this is a regular savanna. That's fine though. Ooh, village. That's good. I'm just going to quickly stop and... Ooh, bookshelves. These will be useful. 24 books, that's really good. Thank you for your hospitality, but I will be on my way now. And we appear to be going back into a forest. Hmm, another village. Two villages literally a two minute walk away from each other. Wow, this is absolutely beautiful. Oh, we found a cherry grove. We have not found one yet. That is a new biome. I am heading straight to you after I go to the blacksmith. From the cherry grove, all we need is a cherry sapling, which I think should be doable. I was really hoping we'd come across one today. <gasps> Got one! I am going to take some of the wood with me. And I think I might wait for another one to drop, just so I can have an extra to plant. I'm gonna go right to the top of this mountain, I think. Try and scope out my surroundings. Get some petals while I'm at it. So by the looks of this, this just goes into a plains biome, which is fine. I think we're going to continue in this direction. Oh no, that's a tiger in the distance. Oh no. 
I did not want to see that. Um, I'm going to switch up directions. Okay, this might be a sign. I think I'm going to go in a different direction and, and maybe use that to try and navigate home. We'll walk this way. <gasps> oh, dogs do not have any bones. Sad. Okay, we're going to head this way. I see a shipwreck. I don't see any new biomes though. I do see more tiger. I think I'm officially going to end this expedition and officially start heading home as my sword is dying and my infantry is not full but it's definitely getting full. That's the same village that we found earlier, right? Uh, maybe not because I see a shipwreck. I think this is a different village. We have found three villages and so many turtles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve turtles. <gasps> Ooh, fun. And even more turtles. I think that brings the numbers up to 15. Okay, we've made it back to Savannah. I have a feeling this is probably just Savannah and not Savannah Plateau. <gasps> oh no, it is. It's Savannah Plateau. Well, let me get the shears, as from here we need acacia leaves. Nice. Well, now my inventory is well and truly full. Oh, <gasps> new dogs. I have not seen these before. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, do I spy another shipwreck? I think I do. And potentially another village. I see the Badlands. That is a hopeful sign we are getting close. We are still over 3,000 blocks away from home though. Maybe we'll take a pit stop at the deserted village. That might be a good idea. Oh, that's new. I don't think I want to attempt that. I spot another ruined portal. <gasps> Ooh, well I have to take that. We found the savannah, we're getting closer. I think I recognize this. I think I might actually know where we are now. I think the village should be around here. <gasps> yes, that was a long journey. Okay, I've had a little rest, so I think I'm going to make the final journey back home now. And back to the mass of tiger. Safe snow, safe snow. <gasps> not safe, 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 not safe. Safe. <laughs> bad snow. <laughs> bad snow, bad snow, bad snow, bad snow. I think the sun is setting. Can we get home before nightfall? I think we can. Nice. And let's put our four trophies in the chest with our other trophies. I will expand the trophy room a bit later, but not right now. Okay, let's see how many bookshelves I can make. I don't exactly know how many we need, but I'm sure I'll be able to work it out. Okay, I have made 14 bookshelves from all of the books and all of the leather. Again, this isn't the most ideal place to have an enchanting table, but there's nowhere near enough room inside. Okay, let's see what level that gets me up to. That gets us to level 28. Okay, so I'm assuming we will need a couple more bookshelves to be able to enchant at level 30. We'll have to go on a bit of a search for some cows, as I certainly do not have enough in my pen. Oh, Arctic Fox, cute. No, up to level 28, close though. I'm going to search for some more cows for a little while longer. I see a cow. Eight bits of leather, two more bookshelves. What? No, I have 17 bookshelves. The internet says I only need 15. Maybe I can only enchant up to level 28. I guess we're doing level 28 then, as I don't think I can get any more bookshelves. I think I'm going to go ahead and enchant the diamond pickaxe first, just so we have hopefully the best chance of getting silk touch. Okay, let's do it. Please. No. We did not get silk touch. 
Okay, that's disappointing. <laughs> Those are some pretty bad enchantments. <laughs> well, that's that plan foiled. I guess I better go expand the trophy room now. <laughs> so how many new trophies? We have nine trophies to put in. sand dropping oh no that's the turtle enclosure isn't it oh no oh no we have a problem oh dear wait no this doesn't work either okay i have a plan uh i'm going to temporarily borrow these blocks perfect and now i need to somehow get into the turtle enclosure and clear out the blocks. I'm gonna need some more glass. Perfect. We'll fix that a bit later. Crisis averted. Why do I hear an enderman? start putting the trophies in now. We have one of each terracotta from the eroded badlands. We have an acacia sapling from the savannah. We have a snow block from the jagged peaks. We have red sand from the badlands. And we have a melon from the sparse jungle. Okay, those are all the trophies we got last episode. Now to grab the ones from this episode. We have a dead bush from the desert. A dripstone block from the dripstone caves. A cherry sapling from the cherry grove. And finally, acacia leaves from the savannah plateau. I believe we are on 35 trophies, so we are well and truly over the halfway point. Huh. Enderman, somewhere. Now that we have finished with the trophy room, I think the final thing I'm going to do in today's episode is set off on another adventure. I don't think we're going to get far enough to find any new biomes, but I think it could be fun just to walk for a little bit and start off next episode in a different location. I think I have pretty much everything I need. Let's go. I'm going to head this direction, as I haven't properly explored this way. I don't know how far I'm going to walk. I think my aim is to get out of the tiger. <gasps> Every single time. Every single time. He's definitely following me. Oh no. Um, I'm in a frozen ocean. From here, I need a polar bear. Um, are you friendly? Can you get in boat? It doesn't appear the polar bear can get in the boat. And I don't have a lead. I guess we will be back for you. We've entered the deep frozen ocean. Again, can't really do anything from here because I need blue ice and that can only be gotten with a silk touch pickaxe. I must say, this is a very impressive biome. It's also absolutely massive. Oh, and that's an ocean monument. And that's a mushroom. Oh, <gasps> no. Is this a tiny mushroom island? Is this a tiny mushroom field? Oh, <gasps> it's so tiny. Oh, that's a bigger one. I don't think I've ever found one of these naturally before. And I can see our trophy right there. A mushroom. How we're getting it home, I have no idea. Well, we found a mushroom field in the middle of a frozen ocean. So you know what? I think I'm going to end this episode here and we will pick up next time on this little mushroom island. Thank you very much for watching and I will hopefully see you next time.